I am Mr. Anje Farade Ga, the director of Momo Educational Development Program in Health Science and Technology Kuneko, abbreviated as MEPISAC. MEPISAC originated from a thought, you know, based on who our fund is, is somebody who loves development and loves education. So he had a thought of you know seeing how he can bring education closer to his people and the people of Momo as, uh, as a whole. So he, when he nursed this thought, he had to call one or two people and they all discussed about it and uh, came forth and agreed that uh, an institution of this caliber should be created here in Guneku. So they started running around trying to get uh, people that will work in the institution. They stumbled on me while I was in Bamenda serving in another institution. They invited me home to come and see how I can help to pass this, uh, this new project. I came home and uh, it was in the month of June, in June 2023. After everything has been said, we made sure the classrooms were ready and the office was somehow ready. We had to just barely, was it two students to start with. So we all began the show and I was all alone lecturing and doing everything all alone. Why we are now struggling to see who can recruit others, the lecturers who were coming in and stuff like that. We grew. Gradually in that June, we, the number was growing. So, as we began with the two students, gradually, gradually, students were adding day after day, day after day, day after day, till before we entered uh, December of 2023, we were already having a handful of students. And you know, it has always been very challenging to start with, especially in a remote area, the socio-political crisis that is going on, but we, we went against all odds to make sure that our students were very comfortable and they had the best of lectures. So that's how we all started to where we are right now. In our institution, you know, there's a, many people out there, they think that this is only a health institution. But uh, we, we, do, we do just almost basically everything. We offer courses, let's go to the paramedical side first. We offer courses in, the, in nursing, nursing assistant, pharmacy, pharmacy assistant, laboratory, laboratory assistant. Now, we also have courses in what? In uh, accounting, management as a whole. We have courses in accounting. We equally have the Department of Agriculture. We have the Department of Agriculture. So we are all round equipped to take students in any department. It was just of recent that I was in September, September 2024, that we did our first batch graduation. We graduated the students with a national diploma, those that come in with uh, for do, to do the one-year course to graduate as an assistant midwife, assistant nurse, and God so being kind, we graduated 32 students in our first batch. 32 students who are currently, we ourselves, as uh, an example, we have we are cons we we have up to four to five of them working in our health institution here in Guneko, and the other ones are all spotted around the globe that are working. While some are equally still searching for the job, but the truth is, our students are well equipped and they are out there to make our school great. Uh, one of the major challenge that our first of us start is financial issues. Based on where we are in a remote area and uh, an institution being run by the fund, people think that it is a charity organization. So everybody is coming there saying that, oh, they don't have money, they don't have that, but we have been struggling with the help of the fund to pass that one. Secondly, the social political crisis that we have here. People are, students are sitting in class with uncertainty, but God so being kind, this our area is, uh, has been very, very safe for all these two years that we have been operating. Uh, thirdly, we want to talk about the recent crisis now between the uh, Ministry of Public Health and the Ministry of um, Higher Education. 
you know, information at times is very, very difficult to process. When you move from the first receiver to the second receiver, the information is always very diluted. Now, whenever I sit in my office, I pick calls, they tell me that, oh, we hear that all private nursing schools have been closed, all school, health schools have been closed, which is a myth. That is actually not what the ministry have declared. So it has greatly affected us for the recruitment of students this year. Many are scared that probably we are just a scam because they have heard that uh, all private nursing schools have been closed. But God is good. We have been struggling and we have a handful of them in class as we speak. We have all our registration. You know, when we have somebody of this calibers at the hems of the affair of such in, of our institution like his the phone his royal highness dr von mckee waters i don't think he's somebody that's going to jeopardize his integrity to allow an institution to function under his power without being legalized so medpisak is highly legalized and is recognized by the ministry We have other partners with institutions uh, with MEPISA. The first one is St. Thierry. St. Thierry is a nursing institution in Bameda, which is owned by Dr. Thierry Tassan. We work like brothers and sisters. We work like sisters in an institution. We always exchange lecturers. We, our students visit for you know exchange of knowledge and stuff like that. We equally have Kesmon International. Kesmon International is an American-based university wherein our students, we train our students here and they are being certified from the United States. So we have accreditation with a, a partnership with Kesmon International. And let me tell you something about Kesmon International. Kesmon International is a recognized institution in Cameroon, recognized by the Ministry of Higher Education. So there are the certificates our students get from Kesmon are legal certificates which can be used both internationally and nationally. So, with the issue, the saga going on between the Ministry of Higher Education and the Ministry of Public Health, it has not affected the Kesmon certificate. So, we receive students for the Kesmon who wants to do the one year program as uh, graduate as diplomas, that is, uh, assistant nurse, assistant midwife, and so on and so forth. We equally run the bachelor's degree program with Kesmon International. So wherever you are, if you are very interested about our institution, feel free to call my number and make sure you get yourself enrolled. <laughs> Medpisa stands out among others. The lecturers we have here are lecturers that have been tested over time are lecturers that have been refined, are lecturers that have done this thing over and over. Like for myself, I have been running, uh, working as a nurse educator for the past four years now. So I think I stand a chance to have some experience in the field. And all the lecturers I recruit into this institution have experience. They are well trained. Secondly, Medpisa, which is our institution has a partnership with an American university which helps you when you get this American certificate it's easy for you to grab a job out there and also we have a teaching hospital we don't just operate like a school we have a teaching hospital which is a uh, medical center where we teach our students in class and carry them to the hospital for practical they do life practical before even going on internship they are already averse with everything in their hospital. Medpisa, we have a well-equipped library. It's not where to be found, probably maybe in Momo Division or even in the Northwest. Our library is well-equipped with all sophisticated books that you can sit there and study. Also, we have a computer lab, which is also well-equipped with all sorts of computers. Wherein our students always go there, have time, to sit down, do whatever they want to do. We have also internet on campus. We are in a serene environment, secure environment. We are in an environment that is void of noise pollution. So our students have a quiet place to study, a calm place to retain whatever is being taught of them. Uh, you know, we have had a lot of challenges because of our beginning which is very very normal 
But uh, where we stand to see Mepisak, we stand to see Mepisak runs like a full-fledged university in the nearest future. We want to want to see Mepisak having students of up to a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and why not up to five thousand students here studying in different different departments, different different sectors. So Mepisak has just begun. I have a long way to go. So I just want everybody that is around here to fasten their seatbelt and let's follow this vision. Yeah, for the brains behind Medpisaka, first of all, start with uh, His Royal Highness, which is our proprietor and the board chair president of Medpisaka, His Royal Highness, Dr. von Mikhail Walters. He is the brain behind Medpisa, you know, as we all started, the, our fees is the lowest to be found anywhere. And you tell me now, is the lowest. How do we do to manage to pay the, our lecturers and have uh, our equipment? Our board, our phone has always been there to support us in times of need. We have, in the board of directors, we have uh, His Royal Highness. We have uh, Professor Tassan. We have uh, Dr. Thierry, we have uh, Dr. Peter Ba, and we have Mr. Andrew. These are those that constitute the board of directors of Medpisak. And these are high learned, high educated people. They stand to see that everything in this institution is done according to curriculum. I appreciate them so much. They have been my source of strength. They have been the one directing me, encouraging me and telling me that some, you can still make it. And that's why I'm still standing to now. And also to the general public, to those still contemplating on whether or not should we come. Please, you have no time. Registration for this academy year 2024-2025 is currently going on. Please make your way to Medpisakna and secure your destiny. Call our numbers, you will see our number on the screen. Call our numbers any moment, anytime. Text us even on WhatsApp, we will get to you. Beep us if you don't have credit, we will call you. And make sure you come and join this team. The accounting department is going on smoothly. The agricultural department is going on smoothly. And the health department is going on smoothly. So please, why don't you make a haste? Time waste for nobody.